New season, new me. Scalp looking good. Unibrow taken care of. Gotta get the mustache looking right. That's the only reason anybody watches this thing anyway. Nice and symmetrical. And... Perfect. Whoo, new season. I wonder what time we gotta start. I don't know what I'm wearing today, man. This is, I don't know how to start this thing off. I got mad options. Oh, I did these, did these. Did I do these already? I don't know what sock I'm gonna wear with though. I wear like every Gucci sock. Man, I gotta bring out all the drip. Ready. My G, you new, ready? New season, let's new do season. it, man. Oh, trying that's to figure out. looking sharp. Man. Thank you, Look man. At you. Trying to figure out what's up with Welty is the thing. Oh, God. I can't wait to see what he's going to wear. Look Always Welty. Fuck oh, He thinks Lord. he's a star now. Like he can take forever, like my time. What are you doing, man? What do you got going on, bro? Welty, I'm trying to up, pick bro? out which shoes I need to wear. I can't, bro, figure, go, I can't figure out which shoes I want to wear. Bro, what, what are you talking about, It's a tough decision. I can't figure out which ones. the same shoe. No, they're not. Bro, you're ridiculous. I can't figure out which ones I want to wear. What's the difference? Actually, what's the difference? Is it raining in New York? They're completely different sneakers, Why do you have that on? Only this guy. Let's go. Let's. You got it, bro. That outfit. Jesus Christ. 2019, ladies and gentlemen. 2019. Fuck it. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army. We are back. I'm Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. James Trinidad James is back, baby. And we have a guest. This is this is not Joe Puma. Just nah. off the rip. <laughs> I'm no Joe Puma's Indian way to cousin. Start it off. 2019 is going to be great. <laughs> no, no matter what it looks like, we have a real guest this time around. Hassan Minaj. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you for coming. <laughs> through. Thanks thank for you having me. Through. My yes. G. My thank G. you. Um, thank you. I think a lot of people wanted to see you on this show. You know, you've been doing your thing in the, in the streetwear scene with Patriot Act. Yes. You know, you're obviously a sneakerhead. Is that, is that is that safe? Yeah. What's the qualifying terms to become a, a sneakerhead? A fan? You're a fan, and you. When when did you first there think in go. your head you're like I'm a sneakerhead? When did you first like self-identify as that? I mean, I'm. I'm 33, so when I first was like, I'm um, about this was right around 95 when I got okay. my first pair. My okay. mom let me get my first pair. So that was what the- What was that pair? That was the Air Penny. Okay. White and blue. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, well, we're happy to have you here. Uh, we're gonna chat some some sneaker news topics and then yeah. we're gonna get a little bit of your background in the game too. I think sure. the first thing we, we wanna talk about We need two seconds here, to acknowledge his hat though. Um, well, just yeah, we'll try to mix it up. Like, I don't know him, if you know, but he's he usually on the dad hat wave, like, but he's- uh, yeah. I'm getting buckets. I'm yeah, you're, you're getting yes. swishes. Hidden swishes. Getting, swishes, getting buckets. Let's well, T, are, are, are bucket hats back now? I think so. I was doing them for a few years. <laughs> oh, my God. I said they never went away. I was doing them for a few years. Shout out Currency, who wore a bucket hat on the uh -huh. show. How do you guys feel about this? This first shoe we want to talk about is this kind of bootleg Tom Sachs looking joint. This is a Nike SB Team Classic. We, we can all agree that they're ripping off the Tom Sachs colorway here, right? Like, yeah, so can, can you guys explain to me why the Tom Sachs thing was a big deal? I can you don't explain. Like it? You don't like it? He's no. getting like, angry right no, now. No, what was That's it like, about? Who's getting angry? Me or, or no, Hassan? you. What is it about it? So you, what you have is um, you have some Jansport Brown uh, right there. Jazz wear brown. You know what I mean? What What is it about this shoe that makes people go? I mean, I think the original. I gotta shoe, get this shoe. You know, just like Tom Sachs, the whole the whole NASA thing, and how he was trying to to create this this sneaker that looked like something that would actually be on a different planet. So like the first Mars Yard shoe, um, you know, it has like the Vectarn fabric, like that they actually use in space travel. So I I think that there was a, a real legitimate story there. I think since then people are just kind of latching onto the hype around it and don't necessarily care about the backstory, but I think even the sequel one was really good. You know, they kind of functionally upgraded it with the, with the new mesh and things like that. The, the one after that, as I've said before. He can obsess about the shoe for hours. Yeah, you, oh yeah, I'm <laughs> this, I have like, my own, said, I have yeah, my own, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but, like, but what was the moment that made it pop? There's always a the moment. Last, it was the last one. The last one made it pop, but I'm gonna say from, who, a, from who, a person who doesn't have the shoe, I don't have the shoe, yeah. I don't really care about having the shoe, yeah. and I'm a hype beast. King, we know about say. you. Oh, whatever. So, Tom with Sachs, that being said, show. I would say for me, what was interesting was I seen him talking about the shoe or whatever, and to see somebody that's in a completely different world taking his world and applying it to different create planet, a sneaker. A different uh, planet. Or whatever. I respect the that. The idea cool. of that. That's cool. For me, I was like, oh, you respect a shoe still. Like, you don't have to be 
a collector since 95 yeah, for yeah. me to respect your respect but we of think making this, sneakers. We think this yeah. So Nike, that's why I like that's it. Cool. this Nike SB like shoe is whack, right? Is this a consensus? What, the, the shoe from... Oh, I mean, the that's ridiculous. Shoe? First of all, that's the skate shoe. So that was just a ridiculous... That got me. I thought that was like some I'm not, I'm not mad other at them, like, ripping off the colorway so like one those? time. I wouldn't season? wear them. Oh, why not? Because I have the real joints. Oh, oh flex. Ooh. Yeah. 2019 is gonna be so good, guys. I'm telling go, you, man. Go wow. Through some other sneakers that are uh, wow. kind of hard to get. Uh, Kyrie Irving has been doing his thing with Concepts uh, yeah. lately. Shout out Concepts. Kyrie plays for the Celtics. Yeah. Concepts is out of Cambridge. I love basketball. Okay. I'm a huge um, Sacramento Kings fan. Unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. He okay. did. Uh, I grew up in Sacramento. Did, nice. They did. Shout uh, out to the Fox. Fox. Mall. They did. Go ahead, man. Get, get it out. Let me talk. I don't know. Do no, your thing. Yeah, yeah. You, know, right. this feels, you know what, man? Well, this feels. It's, it's, so, it's so funny, man. I do. I work in political like satire and news. Yeah. And this shit's like cable news right now. The way you guys are yelling over each other. Yeah, I think wealthy. Uh, I think he consumes some cable news. I don't know. All right. Which Trinidad's channel. actually hosting it very um, well. He's keeping it well balanced. I'm high. He's keep, don't worry about no, 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 but he's keeping it. No, no. Trinidad's keeping it bipartisan. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm on the left, and yeah. wealthy is. Oh wow. Anyway. Go ahead, wealthy. Uh, Go ahead, wealthy. Uh, makes sense. So. Concepts and Kyrie did did like the Iket, which was had the Egyptian uh, right. inspiration. Yeah, um, they did that uh, shoe that was super limited. They sold it on Christmas Day in the the pro store in uh, the TD Garden in mm -hmm. Boston. Mm -hmm. And now that he's wearing this other EE shoe, you guys like these? I don't like this color. Mm -hmm. I actually like the the this is the Kyrie Five, right? Yeah. I yep. like the Kyrie Four. I've played in the Kyrie Four. The Kyrie okay. Four is like a great shoe to hoop in. I don't know what's going on with the. This line. The, the fly trap. He's also Good got the, the tennis shoe collab with. Uh, I, I like this. That's dope. I, 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 I thought that was yeah. really yeah. cool. Because they're both, uh, Nick Karios and Kyrie both have Karyos. Australian. Uh, Shout out to the Antipodes, roots. man. We got, a, we got a big following the, down there. So who does? Who the, has? the tennis player, Nick Karios, is okay. Australian and right. Kyrie grew up in Australia. Oh, yeah. wow. That's mad. I did not know so that. So that's how they put that's the two of them together. So 2019, guys. Yeah. First of all, I want to tell you, buddy, that Patriot is fire. I would have. That's one of the, the best. That's the best thing I watched in 2019 so far. Wow. So, By the way, no. I, I did watch the Saudi Arabia episode. We can't afford to get banned in Saudi Arabia. Oh, we gotta come on now. Is this, oh, is come this on. Saudi Arabia. Is this so, like, come on. You know, Dubai still, guys. Come on. You only know it's popping when you're banned. Come on, man. We, you're, are you good in Dubai, though? Yo, call me Indian AJ1 Bread. Shokran. Because oh, I'm yeah. banned. Pull out the Mashahideen to Saudi Arabia. Shokran. I'm talking about it. Like, we don't know. Oh, come on, man. Okay. And a lot of you guys watching on the internet while you're, you know, distracted at work, not listening to your boss. You got the white headphones in. You got multiple tabs open in Mozilla Firefox. This is at 10 o'clock in the fucking morning, you guys. So we're bringing fire early. Yes. <sighs> what Shout we, out to What are we looking forward to as far as from like Jordan and Nike? Like Jordan, Adidas, like Adidas last year. And I don't mean to no, get you tricked. I don't want to get you no, hyped up, dog. But uh, about Adidas. honestly, Adidas I don't know if you know this, but Welty is like the the Adidas guy. Yeah, but Adidas absolutely shit the bed in in 2018. <laughs> Welty, are you trying to get the hashtag sponsored post? Hashtag ad. <laughs> they uh, paid partnership with Adidas. They, uh, he doesn't disclose. I, they owe me a bit of a. Uh, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. For a sponsor, what are they, they going to give you? Like a 20 G's, then with taxes, they come to 6K. There are a lot of people. Maybe rent in Brooklyn. There's a lot for one sponsor post. You know his manager is taking a big chunk, but um. Wait, I want to get back to this. There. They owe you money, you said? No, but what I'm, they saying, I'm just saying they, sh they should, is the amount of... Uh... So Adidas dropped the ball last year. That's yeah. safe to say, respectfully. He's right? not getting yes. 20K. For, like, last year, uh, what was your best Jordan that came up for you last year? Like, a, a cop for you from a Jordan cop? Okay, I would say two. I, uh, I think these are beautiful, man. Right, the uh, this con Concord the Off-White ones. This, con yeah. this, this Concord 45. Okay. Now, let me tell you something. This is not a good year to have 45 on anything. Oh, cool. Mm. Oh. God damn, this is a beautiful shoe. The quality's great. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna pose for the photographer real quick. <laughs> These are comfortable too. Like just, when you wear them, they're actually, they're, them like, they're like really comfortable. I thought the high cut patent leather yeah. wouldn't be a good move, yeah, but then yeah. when I wear them, I'm like, man, it's really cool. Do you know Reggie? I don't know Reggie, unfortunately. But, but I've heard stories of, about Reggie. You know I know of, of the Reggie. Reggie, come on the show. Reggie, come on the show. You're not, you're not on the level where they're just sending you stuff yet? They do send me stuff, they sent me these. But you're not Mark Wahlberg level yet. Nah. You're not uh, beating up Vietnamese people in the streets of Boston. And <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my later. God. No, I'm so not on that level yet. <laughs> okay, so with... Tony, with Mark Wahlberg coming this year? What was the second sheet? This was, one and what did the, did the Space Jams also come out last year? No. No, 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 no. no. So this was, this was probably my favorite. I mean, look at the qual the quality's great. It's just a beautiful shoe. It's objectively a beautiful shoe. Um, I've never understood the off-white situation. Really? Now, I'll tell you guys a story about this, right? I've never... And Trinidad, please... Please explain this to me. Okay. Now, when I was growing up in Sacramento, we, there would be a, uh, a flea market okay. at, at uh, near the Florin Mall. You would get fake Jordans that look like this. Mm. 
kind of unfinished right. mm -hmm. Adibas, yeah, right. the brand with four stripes. <laughs> right, right, right. Mikey. You had a pair of fake, sh fake shoes, right? Yeah, I had fake I had fake Rashid Wallace Rashid, Air Force yeah, Ones, all patent leather. <laughs> Man, that's yeah. a hard one to get. This reminds me of that vibe. So you can't. I don't understand that. Do it. But but by all means, someone please explain the artistry to me. I think Virgil is going to come on the show very soon and explain that. Yeah, I would you know love. You, I would you know love if you for you talk bad about Virgil. You're instantly just like banned from all sneaker stuff, right? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I'm, sure, I'm, sure I'm a 33 yeah. year old. Yeah. Don't ban me. It worked for Michael Jordan. I don't know. Can you explain? Can you explain the artistry? To me? I mean, please, please. I, I really, I genuinely want from to understand. The standpoint I, love this, of, I love that you're coming the, challenging. The, the, simple, like, the simple thing about it, I would say, is this: the shoes that were in the flea market, right? Yeah, yeah. Coming yeah, up, right? Yeah, Those yeah. were truly horribly made shoes. Yeah. They used to and sell. Back in the day? Yeah. My quality was high though. <clears throat> yeah. But in the mid the, the mid is the no, mid listen, is selling. Listen, 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 listen. The only thing I'm saying is with that shoe, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that is a professionally made shoe. Yeah. And it's like taking those flaws yeah. and actually really doing them the right way. 20 years ago, I seen that shit and it was fake as hell. Yeah, but now, but now it's, it's real. real. That's what I'm saying, my point. I saved myself at the end there, guys. But you know, thank, thank but, you. But you know how when, you know how when they sometimes put a luxury price on a bodega sandwich? Mm. Okay. You don't fuck with that? That's what I'm, no, I don't fuck <laughs> with the luxury price on a bodega sandwich. I'll pay the bodega coffee price. It's a dollar. But if someone says Virgil just did bodega coffee and is reselling on StockX for $387, <laughs> I'm a grown Stock man. Josh I'm a grown man. I'm married. I got kids. But also you have that much money for, for sure. I mean, we saw the Netflix show. I know, but I can't. I'm trying to play the long game here. <laughs> Investments. Game. Investments in stock. You really, you really dug into the Supreme thing on the show. I, I think you mentioned there's sort of an emptiness to this kind of hype. Is, yeah. that, is that how you feel about Supreme? The thing that I wanted to explore on the show is what is the intrinsic value of hype mm -hmm. in and of itself? And your thesis is there is none. Is that correct? You don't know the length of it. Mm -hmm. That's the scary thing about hype. Okay. It's like Bitcoin. Remember, remember two years ago, everyone Whoa, was on WhatsApp Bitcoin like, crazy. you need to get on it, blah, 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 blah. We're, we're all at home Bitcoin. over Thanksgiving People break. Everybody from your high school was like, bro, BTC, <laughs> get it right now. Speaking of Supreme. Yeah, yeah. A really important question for you. Yes. Have you ever resold sneakers? Uh, yeah, I've resold sneakers. Yeah. You did? What? Yeah. Where? Yeah, if I get extra pairs, I'll gift them, okay. or I'll put them. I'll put them on StockX. Okay. Sometimes people will just send me stuff. I'm like, I can't. Yeah. So I'll send them. Send them Reggie, people. Re Reggie. Reggie doesn't send me any. But oh, Reggie, right. Reggie, I'm available. Here's my thing. If Supreme becomes a thing where everybody can have it, I guarantee you, you won't want it. I mean, this is all of this is special because it's rare. Now right. do me next. Well, well just like Yeezy. You know what I mean? Like, cause like first, like regardless of anything else. It was impossible to get the shoes, and yeah. now you just yeah. see like the yeah. most like basic people walking down the street. He yeah. always wanted it like that, yeah, because nobody wants to get robbed. Like when you were, yeah, oh, you know, what I'm saying back yeah. when you said you was in the, the yeah, I saw you get Lincoln robbed, shit. yeah, 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 yeah. Get robbed. Like at that, the mall. Yeah. That's a crazy experience to see somebody get robbed for some shoes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. a crazy thing. Okay, Wait, I'm gonna just drop a jewel emoji real quick on everybody right now. This didn't make the episode, but I go, Matt Powell, man, why do you hate on hype culture so much? <laughs> and he goes, you know what I'm into? I'm into things that have value irrespective of how many, how much they make of it. People still want it. I go, give me an example. He goes, I'm into air. I'm into water. I'm into gold. Things that have intrinsic value, irrespective of how much. Right. You keep bringing gold, it's gonna keep, right, right. Yeah, right. you can, you can, everything. yeah, there's intrinsic <laughs> value I know, in gold. I know yeah. Acclaimed economist who said just that, but I, I will yeah. say but you that, can oh. you can run electricity through it's a, in, right. it's pa nah, it's been nah. paid out. through gold yes it's in it's in like circuit boards yes all right yeah moving on real quick what's up what's your obsession with Joe Lapuma I just think that we're doppelgangers um, I love the show is your, is your end game to try and get invited on sneaker shows my end game is to get out of politics get out of all this research stuff. And hopefully not to this. You can't so hard. You can't leave it's, so, it's so hard. You can't I'm, take Supreme and compare it to Yemen and leave politics. It's, it's so, <laughs> that was a mission. It's so hard, you guys, to do this. To do this to, or what? To, 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 to do this. You gotta, you gotta research. You gotta fact check. You gotta... Something wealthy has never Yeah, done. you have to yeah. connect. <laughs> you have to connect Supreme to the Carlisle Group then the Carlisle Group to bo bombing Man, it. It's yeah. crazy. That, with the cork board that, game, that was a movie. That was a movie. Hassan, you went to SneakerCon. I wasn't at SneakerCon, but I was watching the footage. I, how was it? No, no, you no. When you went to SneakerCon, when you were on the oh yeah, yeah, I, I went to SneakerCon. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, like, yes, yes. In my mind, I was like, like, I would never go. Man, you're on it. Yes, I, I, see, I we, went. We do a little I bit of research. Man, you really on it, man. You're like a great interview. <laughs>
<laughs> and, 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 Man, I've but, sat down with legitimate journalists who haven't brought this level of heat. <laughs> okay, so yes, I went to SneakerCon a few years time. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was doing a field piece for The Daily Show, yes. Um, you met a couple of people I want to ask you about. Yes. You already talked about Matt Powell, so I know how you feel. Yeah. What's Me, your actual opinion on Matt Powell, though, as a, as a person? So he... Do you fuck with him, yes or no? Yeah, yeah, so he's an old capitalist. He wants that shit that's getting flipped at Mervyn's, at Costco, mm. that Kirkland signature. Coles. He's talking about... Coles. So he's talking about the Air Monarch, how many of Air Monarchs are sold around the world. I taught a class for him Hundreds at, of thousands. at Rutgers University, um, and yeah. then we asked him to come on full size run, and he said he didn't see the proposition value of coming on our show. It's all about the value. Oh, okay. I'll Ooh, ask Powell to come on. He'll see, he'll see it. He'll see it. But oh, that's how you come met on the Benjamin show. Kicks. Yes, how was that? with a Z. Yeah, I think I'm responsible for what for what he's become. For fortunately or unfortunately. I actually yeah. interviewed him before you did. Oh, oh you before. did? I wrote the first profile. My piece. God. So you were down wow. in Miami. You went no, to he go came s- up to the office back he's in like, oh, wow. like 20, 2015. Oh. Yeah. So you guys met a monster. My field that? producer tells me that all the time. He'll DM me stuff and he'll be like, look what you've created. And I'm like, oh my God. Just legend. Stop. Ben, ben, ben the, the legend. Come on the show. Come on the, Come show. On the show. Did Ben Did Ben get you some, some shoes? I've never done business with Ben. Ben actually, at the end of our field piece, he gave me um, some Chicago ones, so thank you, Ben. Oh, shout out to yeah. That's a good but, man. But he Did gave, you lick the soul of that but, one, too? But you know what's great? You know what's great? Is that when he gave me the Chicago ones, he wanted me to, to pay for them, and then his dad was like, Ben, give him the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shit. Because he was like, look, be nice to the, the right. guy who did the story. I did. Right. And I was like, thank you for these Chicago ones. I still own them. I think there's something about your, your your lens on all this stuff where, you know, a lot of it is based on hype and, and maybe doesn't have a lot of intrinsic value. Do you think because of that, do you think we're taking ourselves too seriously or sneakerheads in general are taking themselves too seriously by getting deeply invested into these stories or these brands or these companies? Yeah, I'm more interested in why yeah. you're into this stuff. Yeah. Like, that's the thing that I, I don't understand when people are going crazy about this shoe getting released and this shoe getting released. Uh, it's what I wanted to explore on that, the Supreme episode. Okay. Like, I admitted, like, hey, I'm a sucker to it too, but like, why is this so important to me? Right. And I'll be honest with you, I've met the worst people in sneaker lines. You know how when like you go yeah, to like a charity yeah. event and you're, you're doing March for Our Lives or whatever, you're like, oh man, everyone's well, here for a, good, for, for a good reason. Mm. And then, but then when you're like, everyone's waiting outside of the Supreme store or something like that, and you're just like, people are not here for the right reasons. What, what do you think about the stereotype that like all sneaker heads are like 15 year old virgins who have like $2,000 worth of clothes on, but like can't talk to a girl? Yeah, man. I, I, uh, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, obviously that's not true here for uh, educated uh, men nearing their 30s, I think for some of us. I'm, 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 I'm old. I'm 33, man. I'm nearing. I'm nearing my Are you close top. to 30? I'm getting there. With the mustache, you're like... I, I would have guessed you're like early 40s. <laughs> no, I think that. Uh, but then when I went back through Instagram, the, you without the mustache, it ages you down like 20. Wow. Of course. Did you research? Of course. Give me a like or something, man. Yeah. Yeah. Want like, do you want me to follow? I'll follow. Oh, that would be huge. I'll follow. That would be huge. 50,000. Wealthy, what do you think? We're getting him to 50,000. Wealthy, what do you think? I, I mean, I've always been like back and forth on kind of like you need to balance it out because if you Fair get like, balance yeah if you get too if you get too far into it and you're like that kid who's like wearing bape and supreme and you don't look like a regular person and it's yeah. like you're so caught up yeah. in the in the hype and the value that, yeah. where they feel like they need to put on the expensive clothes or else they can't like yeah gonna look at them yeah i'm more interested in the what's the why mm. you know what i'm saying yeah. so like trinidad is this you or is this the persona you've had to create. No, this is him. This is you. This, this is, is him. I've so seen that's, him that's, that's amazing. Thank you. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, no, no. Versus, I, I what saying. versus the other thing where it's like, I'm about to go outside, I gotta put on the costume. I gotta put on the costume. Yeah. 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 It is also kind of cool to see it from the flip side that a pair of sneakers can make you feel better about yourself. Because I feel that if you feel sure. better about yourself, when you got on new shoes, yeah. you don't got an attitude as much. My personal opinion. If you go it's put true. on some brand new shoes that yeah. you really like, mm. yeah. or whatever, yeah. I feel that you just, you walk better, you feel better. Totally. Like, I got new shoes on I today, like I'm not even tripping. Speaking of shoes that may not make you feel good, <laughs> oh. there's been a lot of ridiculous sneakers lately, and we just want to get your take on some of these more outrageous shoes. Who's rocking these shoes? These are the just so we know. These are the Martine Rose uh, Nike Air Monarchs. Got They're this big, like bubble. On the a collab. Side. They, they, like, took, they took they took a sixty dollars shoe, made it two hundred and fifty dollars, warped it. They said people oh said they God. put tumors in the side of it. How are you feeling about this? I mean, Matt Powell would hate this shoe, but let me tell you this: as soon as PJ Tucker puts it on, it's gonna be fire. PJ Tucker, PJ Tucker, please come on the show. Please come on the show. PJ, come on the show. PJ, <laughs> Matt, the value proposition is this. <laughs> the value proposition. We're gonna get a lot of. Yes, break it down for him. There we go. A lot of um, 
Twitter followers? Several. You're gonna get a lot of He's been blocked hype, hype beasts that, that are really into um, whatever Travis Scott wears. And That's important. Whatever Drake wears. They're gonna be into you, Matt. You're gonna hit a whole new demographic. You're also gonna get great YouTube content. These guys are gonna go at you. You're gonna go at them. Um, it's gonna be the sneaker Fox News CNN model. Yes. Where controversy will get clicks. Yes. The comments will be popping. Preach, brother. Come on the show, Matt. Come on the show. Matt, if you don't come on the show after this proposal, I don't know. But Balenciaga, Triple S, what do you think, buddy? Ugly as fuck. Have you ever worn a pair? Never. I, I can't believe it. Never. If I, I'm I still it to you, so you mad that, that you have a pair. Never. We got this other shoe. Uh, it's the Comme des Garcons uh, Presto Foot Tent. I believe this shoe is actually based off of the. Shout out to that camping tent. One, one of the shoe. original samples. <laughs> I love that. that, that big that enough size. I love that that just, sneaker. That little outfit right in the sleeping bag. Yeah, you have. Would you, have you a, camp out for that shoe? Uh, it looks like the camp. I would not. But uh, but shout outs to that shoe. Have that. you ever camped out for sneakers? Never. Ground ground zero. No 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 no. Net. I did go to the mall, but this is like old school. You just you would yeah. show up at six a.m. and just right. let That's mayhem ensue. This is at yeah, the early this early is at the Florin Mall. Florin Mall, which was a, quite a sketchy place, if I'm not mistaken. Still sketchy. Shout out. How, to the how did you mall. feel about that? Like being a kid from the suburbs in Davis and like driving to this. Uh, My mom this dropped me mall off. That was kind of you know, a war zone, right? Said I'll be you back at put nine. Call to someone like Trinidad just to have your back. Well, this is back in the day. What do you mean someone like Trinidad? This is back in the day. You need to put in a call. You said he's tough. It's tough, bro. This is this is no no no. With the sneaker protection for so, people in a I want to hear this. So this is a Carlisle group right here. Oh man! <laughs> All right, Hassan. Uh, every every What's week up? here on the show, uh, we punish somebody who had the worst take on the last episode, and, and we give them some terrible shoes to wear. Our last episode was actually the one that we shot in Dubai, kind of so a, 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 a special one there. Yeah. We're, we're nominating Trinidad this time around um, because he was late to the shoot. What kind 15. of season is this where he I start off wearing those? We were already filming late. the show when he showed up 10 minutes late into the actual no, airing and no walked respect in. But if you see my outfit, <laughs> if you didn't see my outfit, like, I mean, it was definitely, Let, let's, uh, I might have been the freshest dude in the Middle goodness. East at the time. Please introduce yourself to the people Trinidad out there. Trinidad James has made it fashionably late. You Looking know, this, great. This is this is like a taste, like I said, what it's like because we actually thought you missed your flight, and we didn't think you were actually going to be here. Not just now, but you know, we we knew sitting down you were going to be. He told us that he missed his flight, and then the whole first day that we were here, we had to lie to the Soul DXB people and be like, "Trinidad's on the way, Trinidad's on the way," and we really thought this motherfucker wasn't coming here. And he showed I'm up here. With, by the way, I believe it. Tell us in the comments who has the worst <laughs> take for this week, and we will punish them next week. Hassan, can you? Hassan, can you, we want we want you to bless this shoe as you did in sneaker con. Oh my God, is this the Funkmaster Flex Uggs? Are these the lugs? <laughs> we get a. We're not even a, sure what they are, but we, are these dead stock? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These are dead got stock. The, got the tag on. What them. are these? I think maybe you wear them. Oh man, I used work. to rock these when I used to uh, work at Office Max. Oh, okay. So you're familiar. Comfortable? Okay. Yeah. It's Office Max fours. You want me? You want me to do them? Can we? Can we get? Can we, we go. get a, can we get a fat Joe? Where's my camera? Drum roll, please. These are dead stock, right? Yeah. Right there. Here we go. Beautiful. <laughs> He's on it. How did that taste? I just undiest him. Uh, it tasted, uh, <laughs> it tasted like ma mass retail right here. Mass. This, is, this, like <laughs> this has like an upscale Kirkland signature vibe. Shout out Kirk boys. John Kirk Mayer. Boys. John Mayer. Yeah, come John Mayer, come on the show. John Mayer, come on the show, man. John, come on. I want to talk, man. John. I want to talk. Come on, come on the show, man. Hassan, we do this segment called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Okay. All right? And Drip is look as good as Trinidad, per se. Yeah. Oh, whatever. You know, you're you're actually good. kind of doing that right now. I mean, bro, I make things happen. All right, flip is Slack X, you know, yeah, so yeah, get some yeah, money for your shoes. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, then skip, we don't like it at all. Oh, okay. whatever. The first shoe, okay. I, would, I really like to know your opinion on these, is the Fair God ones. For, I, um, think, I think these are great. I would buy, I would buy these so shoes. So drip? Drip. 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 Oh, yeah. drip. So. I just think, I, what, I, what I love is that it's actually like, it's a new yes. original take on yes. a shoe. I think that's a flip because if you're gonna get like a thousand dollars for that shoe, yeah, I, I, there's a, there's I, a lot I of, knew that. There's a lot of stuff. I'm, you can I'm, do I'm with flipping this. Brandon, flip? that, I can't wear that shoe. I mean, this is why you could wear that shoe, Trinity. You could, I'm not tall enough. I, you this know, is a drip. I'm a little stumpy. It's just not gonna. Why do you say that? Just I mean, I put your shoe so on. I'm, I'm doing some yoga stuff, so I'm definitely uh -huh. working on that. Maybe uh -huh. maybe in a couple months. Uh, moving forward, Pigeon SBs, drip flipper skip. This is the shoe right here. A little early, a little flex. Shout out to Jeff Staple. SBs have never been my type of no? vibe. Just, you weren't yeah. at uh, Ground Zero out there. No, nah, man. Zero. You know, I'm, I'm like I'm like every Indian kid you went to high school with. I'm really into hip hop and basketball, so <laughs> that wasn't my. You know what I mean? I'm like every kid you went. Oh, you look like Arjun. I went to high school with him. Yeah, we didn't do this. This is a skip. 
Uh, I, think it, I think it's weird if you were in the shoes and not in the SPs, but that's just a personal. Oh. Why did you tell him and not? Why did not you look at Hassan when you said it? I think, I, I, I think it's no, no, no. Fire, eyes, fire, fire shots. No, I think it's weird because uh, we all spoke about it. Like if you were don't in look that at era, me. Look at him. We're, we're talking. He at, talk, he's talking. Well, 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 this is well, no, we've well, had these no, conversations. No, about this. Get it up. We've well, had conversations where, like, if you are of a certain age, if you if you were into streetwear now and you're of our age, yeah. I think that you should have been into SBS. That's all I'm gonna say. But if you, but what if you're like me? I just like basketball. Think about think about there that. There were era. a lot of people who just like basketball. Who wore that was the beautiful thing about SBS is you had. White skater kids and black kids were into hip hop and all this sort of stuff. And you but all no, met that's kids, true. That's a valid met, argument. You all met in the middle, and that's, that's what streetwear is about. That's a valid it's not argument. Not just like, oh, I like basketball. I can't wear this shoe. So this has to be a drip. Trinidad grew up playing basketball, course, and he loves this shoe. So I respect your why. I actually love your take. For the record, this shoe yeah. sucks. Correct. It sucks. It why? Sucks. Correct. Why does it suck? Uh, yeah. Sometimes you get a really good idea. You don't need to continue it forever. Yeah. Okay. So what about you? Yeah, I'm skipping. It's too far away from the original formula. The the, the clear soles, the the panda thing doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I don't okay. like the sneaker riot. Yeah. E, we <laughs> couldn't wait to say that. <laughs> Moving forward, off white Air Max 90s. What do you think, uh, Brent? I'll start with you. What do you think, drip flipper skip, sir? You know, I'm a little bit tired of the off white, the 10 stuff, but I like this sand colored. I think desert ore is the exact shade. You're not of it. tired of it, then. <laughs> I, I, so. I'll, I'll drip these. No, this yeah. is actually a really dope colorway. I have to admit on that. That's so really drip. Good. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna go skip for me. Say? I'm gonna skip. So, skip right? so this is this is also the thing where I, I've also tried to wear more tan colored stuff. When I wear tan or like brown stuff, people think that I'm like on a green screen. And oh they just, no! You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, crazy. yeah. We're definitely yeah. gonna have the editor just put that that exact shade like <laughs> moving yeah. forward. Yeah. Uh, the Jordan Laser Four. Yeah. For me, I'm gonna just put it out there. I'm not gonna lie to myself. I think this is a drip, man. Really? The Jordan, I don't know. I like I, this is a shoe I would have grew up on. I was like, I would have liked this. A black forward that looked like a gum bottom. I like it. Um, Hassan, you're a Jordan guy. Be honest. I would skip this one. Fine. Damn, Reggie's not gonna hook you up, bro. After I know, you said man. that. <laughs> I know. What am I gonna Blue do? It. Brandon, what about you, say? Yeah, it. this is a skip for me. It's not super offensive, but I'm not spending 190 bucks. Well, too. Yeah, it's just a skip. I don't think it's that whack, but it's eh. okay. Um, now we do outfits now. We got oh, our boy ASAP Rocky here yeah. in the Jordan 1. How we feel about this fit? Oh man, ASAP Rocky brought to you by Guy Fieri. <laughs> and he's got the balaclava on too. Well, did you flip or skip? Uh, I like that he made his Ooh. song name Babushka lately. Shout out my grandmother. Um, but <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like the whole where people think that like Flames is was ni late 90s cool and people ironically want to dress like that. Yo, but if ASAP Rocky starts wearing Jinkos. It's gonna be popping. I'm ready for. Did Jinko's you ever have a pair? Back. I never had a pair. No. I missed the Jinko. My, my mom and dad. Would so this is what is you this said. Is a skip, man. This is a skip. Brendan. It's Brandon? a skip for me because I want to see him wear more Under Armour product because he has an Under Armour deal. Okay. For uh, the, were, the outfit of the hour. Were, who's that? Who's that? Who's that beautiful man right there? Man, that's Joe LaPuma and the celebrity <laughs> also getting more number seven. You know that he he he, he tells us that a lot of people do think he's Indian. That's like the. He does. Like yeah. The, <laughs> Dude, me and Joe LaPuma are cousins. His name's Javinder. <laughs> Um, so Brendan, with drip flipper skip. Let's start with you, sir. Uh, skip with all due respect to my friend Hassan, because that uh, Jordan Twenty Nine is quite quite bad. In my the, J the Jordan Twenty Nine is a great shoe to hoop in, though, because I was trying to put in. I don't know anything they about that. They gave that to you too. They gave the, you didn't come there with that shoe. No, I had these. The, you, oh. know, you know how when you have a hoop shoe where you're like, I'm gonna oh, wear this, this indoor and outdoor. Oh, this is your shoe. You know how like when you because you're about you're about to play outdoor, and when you play outdoor here, there's always just that dude in cargo pants yeah. who's like, hey, I'm I'm ready to play. <laughs> the real question. You did an is indoor outdoor, yeah. So I played. Is did you get buckets? I scored, Did Welty, you? I scored yep. 13 points. Yeah. Not bad. I mean, double digits. Not bad. <laughs> it's like... You're sticking by this as this, a drip, right? Drip flip or skip for you? Uh, actually, like, uh, as nah. A shoe, as a performance wealthy, shoe. Like wealthy, wealthy, wealthy. Give, give it to as me. As a performance shoe, you're wearing Jordans to play basketball in, and I applaud that. Okay. I could have probably found a better color. Jordan shoe to actually play basketball in? To hoop in the 14 Lowe's White and Carolina, I hooped oh, wow. in all the time. I, I got them from Nike Outlet and Folsom, and I remember hooping them in indoor, outdoor. It was a great shoe. I'm going to give you a skip, my brother. I'm going to give you a skip, I but. I understand. People were like, you should have hooped in like some Brad 11s, but I was like, I'm trying to get buckets. Yeah. Hassan, that's that's all we have for you today. That's um, it? Yeah, usually we run through the comments, but you know it's been a while since we did an episode, so we don't have any to go off right now. Definitely, uh, New Year, tell guys. Us, tell us how yeah. you're feeling in, in this one, and we'll read your comments off in the next episode. We are back uh, again. I am your co-host Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James. And this is our dear friend Hassan Minaj. We'll see you next time, folks. Peace. You got to grow your nail back in 2019.
Maybe. You gotta get a custom one. Maybe. She, she, she won every color, that's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my kids. This is full size run. I need you to subscribe now or I'll be forced to shave my mustache. This is full size run. I need you to subscribe now or I will quit this motherfucker, man. Subscribe now or Trinidad James will have to freestyle again. Subscribe now or I have to get a real job. Subscribe now because I just want to buy Gucci socks and be great and live my best life, please. Thank you. I can support that. Yeah, definitely. If, if nothing else, subscribe so Trinidad James can buy Gucci socks.